Saint Dragon. That sounds like a badass name for a mid-80s new wave of British heavy metal band, or even just a traditional metal band. Maybe a mix of Judas Priest from the mid-80s mixed with some Racer X, with a dash of 80s Iron Maiden in there, high-pitched screams, killer guitar shredding riffs, and solos, blasting drums, killer bass, but it's not. It's an arcade game developed by NMK and published by Jalco. It was released in the arcade in 1989 and was ported to the Omega, Amstrad, CPC, Atari ST, Commodore 64, MSX, TurboGrafx-16, and the ZX Spectrum. As you can see, it is a side-scrolling shoot-em-up where you play as the role of a cyborg dragon named Saint Dragon the Cyborg Warrior. And basically, he has rebelled against the tyrannical monster cyborg army. As cyborg monsters have taken over the galaxy, reducing race after race into slavery. These cyborg monsters have superior firepower and attack capabilities. Can you kill these motherfuckers and save the human race? Well, you will have to go through five levels with a nice variety of weapons to offer. And there is also, of course, bosses at the end of each level and even some rough and tough enemies. I will say this right now, this game kicks my ass. And I don't know if the game is just tough or I'm just complete dog shit. And it's not really one to somewhat help you out. The restart points are far apart from each other. But on the plus side, if you lose all your lives, you restart from them points with your power-ups. And speaking of those power-ups, there is fire, lasers, bouncing bullets, and more. One unique thing about Saint Dragon is your character and his armored tail that you have, which can be used to ward off attackers and actually will do damage itself. I like that aspect of the game. The graphics for Saint Dragon are really nice. While this was released in the very late 80s, the game looks really badass. The sprites of the Saint Dragon Cyborg Warrior and the enemies are very well done. The level designs are nice and some tight spaces as you cannot touch the ceiling or ground in some areas or you will die. The game doesn't slow down or fuck up when a lot of crazy shit is happening. The colors fit very well and look damn good. Really nothing to say bad here at all. The music for Saint Dragon, I like it. Sounds great, upbeat, fits perfect for such an action-packed game. Love the boss battle music. I won't say it's the best video game music I've ever heard, especially when it's a shoot 'em up but it is enjoyable as hell. The sound effects from the shooting noises, the dying, the explosions of enemies are good and sound perfect. The controls for the most part are pretty damn good. Moving around is easy to do as well as the shooting. You have to basically avoid the chaos the enemies bring. They are responsive, nothing too bad here. Saint Dragon is a damn cool game, but tough as hell and I suck at it as you can see. Sometimes there are shoot 'em ups I do well at and some I am complete shit at and this is one of them. The game has very few small flaws, maybe a few more levels would have been cool but then again like I said this game shows no mercy so it's probably good with the stages this game has but for some of you out there you might want more than that because you might be really good at this the graphics are well done the sprites kick ass the explosions are nice the music is great the sound effects are good and the controls handle pretty damn well really I can't say anything bad about this game sadly there is no sequel or anything like that which is a damn shame the game was released on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo switch through the arcade archives so you can play it on modern consoles if you want to get the game in physical form the TurboGrafx-16 port is $60, $30, some are $118, and then there is an Atari ST port for $53.40, so prices definitely vary. If you can get it on the Switch or PlayStation 4, it's probably not too much, but if you don't have those consoles, you can always use MAME, which is a fucking badass arcade emulator. Well, that is it for this review of Saint Dragon for Arcade. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.